to talk more about how the network society is fast becoming a reality, may we have on stage Mr. Yiron Dorastin, Vice President and Head of Operations, Ericsson India. Thank you, Palki. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to extend a hearty welcome to all of you here on behalf of Ericsson. Um, you saw the movie. I want to provide a little bit more context in the next couple of moments to you about this network India, Ericsson, and how it all holds together. And I start by showing, sharing with you the Ericsson vision, which is all about this network society where we believe every person and every industry is empowered to reach their full potential. And of course, it's Ericsson that supplies the technology and the services to enable uh, that. As soon as I put up this slide, I saw some of you dive into your smartphones and I can almost hear you think. It's 7.30 on a Friday evening, we've got two and a half hours to go, and this guy is pushing corporate slogans. But this is really what drives Ericsson and all of my colleagues every day. But far more important, ladies and gentlemen, this is really what is happening today in the world and right here in India. And you saw some of the examples. This is not fiction. It is an ambitious, ambitious fiction, uh, but it is what is happening. Let's look at some data points, if you like. It took us about 100 years to connect a billion people Sorry, a billion places. Fixed telephony, remember all of that. Then in the space of only 25 years, we connected 5 billion people, 5 billion individuals by mobile telephony. And it, we believe that by 2020, in a, a space of about 15 years, we will actually see 26 billion connected devices. So a massive change, a massive uh, um, you know, deployment and acceptance of a whole new technology and, and finding ways to do new things with that technology. So Ericsson is really pushing, driving this agenda of the network society. And, and how do we do that? Well, I hate to say, just to break it to you, Ericsson is not into mobile phones anymore. We get that question a lot. Oh, you're Ericsson? Oh, you're the mobile phone guys. Well, that is about the only thing that we don't do. But we have a number one global position, market leader, in four areas that just enable doing all this great stuff on your mobile phones every single day. Mobile infrastructure, from antennas to base stations to what we call core network nodes. Operations, business and support solutions, systems that will allow us to operate the network and that will allow us to reach out to customers uh, and, and, and build relationship with that customer. When you update your prepaid, that goes through one of our systems. We have telecom services from boardroom type of strategic consultancy to designing networks, to deploying those networks, to physically roll out those networks, and to manage those networks on a day-to-day -day basis for our customers. And then lastly, we also have TV platforms, basically IPTV, so fully scalable, interactive, customizable TV services. A lot of numbers there. I'll leave you to look at them. Very, very big numbers. I will just add one another number. About 40% of the mobile traffic worldwide runs on Ericsson-provided infrastructure. How do we do it? How do we achieve these successes? Well, the formula is actually pretty simple. Um, by developing constantly the technologies, the new technologies, and, the, and deploying the services that we have, we really are able to bring, back, bring that all together and hold that together and, and really push the envelope on the technical performance of our networks, providing better uh, user experience for our customers and, the, and their, their customers. And the way we do it is by having very solid, very good skill sets on the ground locally, local capability, and we complement that with global skills. And I'll give you a real example in a minute. In India, Ericsson India, we've been here for more than 110 years. Uh, and remarkably, maybe, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's more Ericsson employees in India than in any other country in the world. And that includes Sweden, Stockholm, our home country, where our home uh, headquarters is as, as well. We have the largest GNOC, 
the um, a global network operation center in the world is actually here in, uh, in Delhi, Noida. And three years ago, I actually spent time in the United States, another three years, and I was running the Sprint network there, the largest outsourcing deal at the time in this industry. And it was actually six months after we took over operations from Sprint, uh, the actual day-to-day -day operation of that network was handed over to our global network operation center. And then a very large part of Ericsson's R&D capability are these days based in India as, uh, as well. When it comes to our customers, basically two groups. On the one hand, uh, which is very much our largest segment to date, telecom operators, where we have that number one position, we supply them with the mobile infrastructure and the OSS, BSS type of systems uh, to ensure that every day they're able to serve their customers better. The second group of customers is really where we see also the, most of our growth for the future coming. You see four bubbles out there, and if you would drill down what sort of industries lie below it, what sort of companies, you'll find anything from media, retail, banking, finance, automotive. And the one common factor that all these parties, organizations, and companies have is that they are all embarking on a journey to rethink how they create value for their customers by the means of connectivity and mobility. And of course, that's where we come in with our solutions, our thinking to help them explore new opportunities and try to find ways to monetize on them. The video showed a few examples. I just use a few more. The connected, sorry, the, the network society is, is really happening. I just wanted to highlight two of them very, very briefly. One, because I was involved uh, here in it as well, which is basically iSchool, an initiative from the Bhutan government, the Ministry of Education, where, which really had the aim to provide um, learning services to very remote rural areas in Bhutan. And together with Bhutan Telecom, we provided that solution basically a very advanced video capabilities, a whole new way of bringing teaching out into these rural areas. The other uh, uh, example, Maersk, one of the largest shipping companies in the world where we provided a fully integrated mobile satellite-based communication system that allows Maersk to track their systems, their vessels all over the oceans in real time and ensure that they optimize their bunker capabilities, basically their fuel usage. So we go from vision to mission. That is really all about how we actually achieve uh, our vision. And we want to be seen as doing much more than just provide that technology and all those services. We really want to lead with our customers and other parties into this new world uh, where we lead the transformation through various means of mobility. It comes down to we, are an a we enable change makers. And that really brings me to what tonight is all about and the Networked India. It is really an, an, initi an Ericsson initiative together with our partner CNN uh, I IBN to provide a platform to identify, to encourage, to promote, to share innovative ideas that use cloud, broadband and mobility to the benefit of society in India at large. I won't say more about that. That will all be in much more detail how it had played out. We had a huge uh, intake of more than 140 innovative ideas. We'll put five on stage tonight, and we'll down select to two top winners of, of that. But with that, I hope I've given you some context about what Network India is, where Ericsson comes from, what our agenda is, what we're trying to drive here in India as well. And if there is one takeaway, I think, uh, for tonight, it's, it's this one. It's all about turning big ideas into real big changes. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a very pleasant, informative uh, evening. Thank you very much.